Classic Tales, Arabian Nights The Tale of the Three Apples One day, the caliph went into town with Jafar, his vizier, to see how the common folk were living and to address any complaints about the government. After walking through the streets and market, they found themselves in a narrow alley where they saw an old fisherman looking disappointed. The caliph told Jafar to stop and ask what was wrong. The fisherman explained that he had been out since midday, but hadn't caught anything, and was worried about his starving family at home. The caliph asked him to return to the riverbank and cast his net once more, promising to buy whatever he caught for a hundred gold pieces. The fisherman rejoiced, and they went back to the riverbank. When he cast his net, it pulled up a heavy, padlocked chest. The caliph gave the fisherman 200 gold coins so he could return to his family, while they took the chest back to the palace. Once opened, they found a piece of carpet, a woman's mantilla, and at the bottom, a young lady cut into 19 pieces. Horrified, the caliph ordered Jafar to find the murderer and bring them to justice within three days, threatening to hang Jafar and 40 of his kin if he failed. Jafar, full of sorrow and despair, stayed at home, unsure of how to find the murderer. Three days passed, and a messenger summoned Jafar to the palace. When the caliph asked for the murderer, Jafar responded, Oh, Commander, how am I to know who killed her? The Caliph was furious and announced to the city of Baghdad that Jafar and his kin would be hanged at the palace gate. The people flocked to witness the execution, not knowing the cause. As the gallows were set up, a young man with a neat appearance came forward and declared himself the murderer, requesting to be hanged. Suddenly, an old man also came forward and claimed to be the murderer, asking to be hanged instead. Both insisted on their guilt, saying the other was innocent. The young man confessed that the dead woman was his wife, daughter of his uncle and mother of his children. The old man was his uncle. They had three sons together. One day, his wife fell ill and her recovery was slow. She craved an apple, so her husband searched everywhere but found none, until a merchant told him they only grew in the caliph's garden. He bribed the gardener with three gold coins for three apples. When he returned, his wife was too weak to eat them, so he left them by her side and went to his shop. At midday, he saw a large man holding an apple. When asked where he got it, the man replied that he took it from his mistress, who lay ill with three apples beside her. The mistress had told him that her husband had journeyed far and paid three gold coins to get those apples from the caliph's garden. Enraged, the husband rushed home. He saw only two apples beside his wife, and asked where the third apple had gone. She answered that she didn't know. In a fit of rage, he killed her, cut her into pieces, put her inside the chest with her mantilla and a carpet, and threw the chest into the river. Later, the husband returned home and found his eldest son crying. When he asked what was wrong, the son explained that he had visited his mother and seen three apples beside her. He took one to play with, and while he was outside, a large man saw him and asked where he got the apple. The son told the man about his sick mother and how his father had journeyed far to find the apples for her, paying three gold coins. The man then snatched the apple from him. Realizing his mistake, the husband was overwhelmed with grief. He had slain his wife wrongfully. He wept and told his uncle the truth, and both of them mourned her for five days. 
The caliph, marveling at the story, pardoned both the young man and his uncle, declaring the man who took the apple guilty. He ordered Jafar to bring him within three days, or Jafar and his kin would be hanged. Jafar, despairing once more, prepared for his fate. On the third day, the messenger came to bring Jafar to the palace. Jafar said farewell to each of his family members. When it was his youngest daughter's turn, whom he loved dearly, he hugged her and felt something round inside her dress. When asked, she took out an apple and told Jafar that she bought it for two gold coins from their servant. Jafar called the servant, who assured him that he didn't steal the apple from the caliph's garden. Five days ago, he found a kid playing with the apple. When he asked the child about it, the child told him about his mother's illness and how his father had journeyed far to get the apples. But the servant still snatched the apple, and the young lady bought it from him for two gold coins. Jafar rejoiced to find the culprit, but he was also saddened thinking about his servant's punishment. He brought the servant to the caliph and told him everything that had happened. Jafar then asked the caliph to pardon his servant's life in exchange for a story more marvelous than these events.